So this is part four, and I've noticed that uh, my particles that I put in the emitter are not dimming down. Don't know why. I have to check that out. Um, click on the light that is actually used as a particle, and we see that the brightness is animated. Let's just go down to the uh, um, timeline menu. And here I see that it's a spline, here it's zero, but I still see a lot of brightness. Hang on, let's just see what it does if we're basically here. Yeah, it does fade. All right, so it doesn't seem to be a problem. If you do have a problem, you can also uh, animate other parameters like uh, the intensity or the color. If you turn the color to black, you don't get black light. Uh, you just get light that's slowly dimming towards black. Or the intensity you can uh, animate from uh, 100 to 0. It works the same. If I put this down to 0, you see that all my uh, particles are now turning black and it, they won't show anymore. And that's because in the lens parameters, it is still set to use light parameters. So you can do it any which way you want. Um, let's put some friction in here. You go to simulate particles and I put some friction in. Uh, let's put this to 20. Don't put it up too high from the start. Let's see what it does. It actually slows down the particles as soon as they shoot away. But I want to make the particles go faster. And they're doing a little bit of distance, but they're still moving at the end. So I have to put the friction up to 30. Let's see. You basically have to look at what it shows you in the editor and maybe even do a test render. Uh, this is pretty cool. Um, other thing I can do is uh, put some uh, turbulence in it. And let's see, put this up to 100. And let's see, first see what it does. And it doesn't seem to be doing much. Let's see, up the scale. Hmm, I don't know. Doesn't really do that much. It doesn't seem to do that much. It probably does. Um, let's see the strength. Let's make this uh, 300. Okay, this might be good. Okay, um, this is the point where you can start rendering. Now, of course, there's no tail at the beginning because there's no frames being made at frame zero. There's no previous frames. Um, so, you actually uh, can start render starting from frame 10 and render through to frame 110 and then basically loop uh, uh, the animated file, the rendered file, in a presentation. Um, now, let's just render this. And in the next chapter, I'm just going to... Uh, fiddle around with the, the path and actually show you what you can do with what you've got and add-ons.